Hi, this is Corey with Cloud Adoption Solutions, and today I'm going to be going over how to use the new record prior value variable in record triggered flows. So in the spring 21 release, Salesforce is giving us access to the prior value um, in flows, which is really nice because previously we used to have, we had to use Process Builder um, to check the prior value and then you could launch a flow based on that. With the access the prior value in flows, it gives us a lot more flexibility, allows us to move away from Process Builder and continue to move towards flow since it's easier to build with. So to set the stage here, I have my dev org and I have this prior owner field on the account and it's a lookup to the user. And I also created a prior owner field on the contact. And for this example, all I'm doing is I want to store the prior owner if the owner if the owner is changed. And I want to store that in this prior owner field. And likewise with the contacts, if the owner of the account changes, I want to store the prior owner on that prior owner field on the contact. So to go into Flow Builder. So I made a after save flow when the record is created or updated on the account object. And a little note here, um, you can't check prior value uh, on this on the start object on the flow. Um, but what you can do is check it in the very first decision element. So I'm letting this run with no conditions. So anytime an account record is created or updated, it's gonna kick off this flow. And then I have a decision element. And here I'm checking to see if the owner ID changed. So what I'm looking at here is the, the owner ID of the record or of the account record and does not equal the prior owner ID. So this is the new variable that Salesforce gives us access to. So this record prior is the value before the record was saved. So again, just checking to see if the owner changed, basically. And if it did change, then I want to get the related contact records. So standard uh, lookup here and filtering it on the account ID so if the contacts account ID equals the records account ID, I'm gonna grab those contacts. I'm getting all the records because I wanna change that field on all of them. And then just checking to see if the contacts, if contact records are found, because if not, I don't wanna loop through them. So if I find these contact records, I'm gonna loop through them. And then I'm going to assign the current item from the from the loop, so the current contact record, the current contacts record owner ID, sorry, I'm gonna assign that to the prior value of the account records owner ID. So record prior here is the prior account before it was saved, that owner ID. And then standard way of um, adding a record to a loop. I created a new collection variable called contact collection, and then I'm adding the current item to that. So it'll loop through there for all the contacts that it found. Then after the last item, I'm going to update those contacts. So just a standard update with my contact collection variable. And then I'm going to assign the prior owner field um, to the account and then I'm gonna update the account record. And then I saved and activated that. I'm gonna go back to my account record here and I'm gonna change the owner from myself to this test user that I created. And as you can see, it updated this prior owner field. And then if I go look at the contact records, nothing's here right now because I didn't refresh, so I'm gonna refresh this page. And there we have the new owner and then the prior owner. 
and we want to check the other. So this, this account has three contacts. So I'm going to check the other ones. So here the prior owners updated and one more, make sure this one changed. And this one changed also. So obviously a, a simple example there, but it shows you the new, the new prior value features of Salesforce. And it's really cool that they're giving us access to this prior value. Um, I've been wanting it for a long time. It, it'll really help when we're building automation. And if you need help building that automation, feel free to contact us. Our contact info is at the end of this video. Thanks and have a nice day.